ordinance and amendment number one. Larry, would you like to start talking here? Yeah. In a long, long time working on this, thinking about it, pondering over it. Can you please speak up so everyone can hear? I will certainly try. Thank you. Thank you. But, and we met with our attorney, of course, you folks, um, Region 6 and a couple other organizations have already reviewed our ordinance and found them to be fine. And I cannot and will not risk financial loss for our, our taxpayers by creating more debt. And considering that everybody that looked at our, attorney, our ordinances, including our attorney, um, I think our ordinances are fine, and I guess I would move to approve, reaffirm our wind energy conversion ordinance number six and amendment. Okay. Is that a motion then? Yes. That was a motion. I'll second it. All right. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Those nay. Motion carried. Mm -hmm. Can you and I comment or ask a question? The public is very disappointed. Our group is very disappointed in what you just did. There are property rights that the current ordinance is not fair to. And we, as a group, are representing those people that do not want wind, wind turbines. And the sighting distance from the house instead of the property lines makes it unfair to the person that uh, does not want a wind turbine. And if a wind turbine is sighted just a thousand feet from a house, it can preclude a landowner from using his own property the way he wants to. We're not able to build anything because that wind tower is too close to their property. So that is a huge concern in my opinion. And I've, I've voiced that opinion to you guys before. So, but I wanna put it on record that uh, that needed to be changed. And so I, I personally am disappointed in you guys not changing that. That's my concern at this point in time. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So in one of the first supervisor meetings we came to, it was, we had said, why has this not been reviewed? It's been 12 years. And I heard, I don't know if it was Larry or someone over here said next year, we're going to do that. Why now? Why today? Why would the lawyer want you to do it? We're not going to go away. So what's, what's the reason to not do, do the background, do the research, listen to the people for our safety? Well, the more driving do just what I said it would do, put a financial burden on our on our property tax owners and in in every area in the county. But we're not talking about a moratorium now. You just approved the ordinance yes. without even re it even was. considering any changes to it. That's the question. And is it for another twelve years? Like things are gonna change in twelve years, Larry. That a thousand foot, what if these things end up being a thousand foot tall? then it'd be 2,000 foot because the ordinance says, or is, twice the height. Which isn't mm -hmm. enough. If you look at other counties, it's, it's not enough. We need to learn from others. Anyone else? Pima County Against Turbines wants to publicly go on record as being strongly opposed to your decision today. We're extremely disappointed that you failed to listen to the more than 800 people who have signed the petition calling for updating of Tama County's ordinances. You have admitted those ordinances were first written in 1998, rubber stamped again in 2010, Larry. Oh. It's correct, Larry. We understand they were first created in 1998. You reapproved them in 2010 and you reapproved them today without taking any of the public's consideration into effect. You admitted you haven't done any research on other counties. 
We've provided you with examples of other counties. We are volunteers and we are doing our research in the best interests of public safety of the people of Tama County. Yet you can't take the public's request of you to even take the time to look at making any changes in an ordinance. And the first thing when you get into this public meeting at 10 o'clock, you make a motion and you second it, you second it, Bill, with your easement that you've signed in your conflict of interest. And you're saying, to heck he does. And we recognize that that's a difference of opinion. Absolutely but is. how do you live with yourself and how can you look all of these people in the room and that are going to be watching this video online in the eye and say you're doing the right thing by all citizens when you automatically just reapprove the ordinance without even considering the public's input or any changes? Tell us. If we can reconsider the ordinances now, we'd have the same thing in effect as it would be if it was a adult moratorium. Who told you that? Well, that's what the fight was all about in Hardin County. You knew that. We, I, I just don't know where you're getting that from, Larry, because again, you've only approved Salt Creek 10 pads, six turbines. So this is the perfect time before any new projects are approved or any phases of them to take a look and to make the ordinances safe for everyone sound, shadow flicker, setback, decommissioning. Those are just four of the areas that we've called out. You heard Janet say earlier about the complaint process. We have no complaint process. We're trying to learn from others. We've given you examples of others, but yet you're saying, nope, we think our ordinance is fine as is. Let's roll it through again. How does that represent public safety and the public's interest? We're not talking about a moratorium. We're talking about updating the ordinance that you have just automatically railroaded through. We did railroad it through. You didn't. Yeah. 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 We discussed it. We talked to other people. Other people told us, you know, like Todd Apple, he's, a, he's our zoning administrator. He said, Why is he not here? I don't know. We didn't ask him to come. And why not? We didn't feel he, he was needed, actually. Mm -hmm. We well, asked we whether needed. Todd Affel could be here, and he we was, have yet to see him at any of these meetings where we've had your largest crowds that you've ever had. That's very puzzling to us why the person that's employed as the county zoning administrator doesn't come to hear this discussion firsthand. We have been asking, and we keep getting the buck passed. So that's just one thing, but we can assure you that this coalition is not going away. This issue won't go away because you have simply reapproved the existing ordinance with no changes yet again. And that is not in the best interest of the taxpayers of Tama County. You are not going to silence the more than 800 people. And as we're sitting here today, and as people didn't get adequate public notice for this meeting, and as Bill, as you continue to deny your conflict of interest, our coalition is growing. And we will continue to do what's right for the people of Tama County, because this is a watershed moment in the history of Tama County that will affect all of us that are here in this room now for the rest of our lives and future generations. And you can be assured that we will do everything legally possible to defend the rights of Tama County taxpayers for their public health and public safety. I have a question. Um, okay, go ahead. Um, so you just approved this. 